Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Talking About Marvel Strike Force. I am Chad Miller and we're going to discuss strategy. So basically, in this game, I just play to play. I don't really strategize so much, uh, other than just taking like my five most powerful characters, lumping them together, and kicking some tail. That's basically all I do. But I decided that I was going to start looking into strategy and putting together some teams based on their attributes. So let me kind of break this down for you a little bit. So essentially... Each character is given certain attributes or classes, um, and uh, each character is either going to be a tech character, a bio character, a mystic character, a skill character, or a mutant. Now each of those uh, classes are going to come with subcategories, such as blaster, protector, brawler, controller, and support. So we've taken a look at all the characters and classes and distinctions and all that kind of stuff and I've assembled uh, my strongest team for each class. Now the first team is War Machine, Crossbones, Nebula, Vision, and Rescue. Now I decided to take this team and use them in an uh, Ultimus raid and uh, I picked I think the second level or second tier. Uh, so it wasn't tremendously difficult, but I could see how the team functioned. And overall, I would say that the team functioned pretty well. I would give it about a four out of five stars. Now for the next team that I've assembled, this is my bio team. Human Torch, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Mantis, and Groot. So once again, I used this team in a raid mission, and I found out that this team works so well together. Um, obviously, you know, Captain America, Captain Marvel are going to work well together, Groot and Mantis as well. Um, it just happened to be a, like a fun team to use too, so that was really cool. I give that team 5 out of 5 stars. So the Mystic team that I put together is Thor. Juggernaut, Black Panther, Scarlet Witch, and Doctor Strange. So I put this team together and used them in Blitz. And while I was successful, it was a really, really, really hard team to, to muddle through the battle. I, it was just, it was sluggish. It was really not that powerful and it seemed it it took a while to defeat the opposing team and it i almost lost a couple characters so yeah i wasn't too thrilled about this team i'm giving them a three out of five stars now the two other teams i haven't done anything with yet i um will probably save that for the next episode uh but it's been kind of interesting kind of coming up with strategies and other than just you know throwing up my five most powerful players and and having a go at it. So I'm going to be kind of keeping this in mind once uh, my alliance gets to uh, a war level, which I've still got a ways to go. So if you would like to join my alliance, Phoenix Redfire. So other than that, there hasn't really been a lot going on in the game for me. I'm anticipating Crystal coming up. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I, I can't wait to crack her open. And then right now the legendary Magneto event is going on and I'm still stuck at, I think, tier three. I still have to get some of my mutants and uh, brotherhoods uh, leveled up and ranked up uh, to continue with that. 
I was kind of hoping I would have made it in time this time, but I didn't, so. Thank you so much for watching this episode all about strategy, and I certainly appreciate that. And there are plenty of other episodes of Talking About Marvel Strike Force for you to view, as well as other content for Redison Productions. Just hit like, subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to know when we upload a video. We certainly appreciate all the support, love, and light to you all.